In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. Buenos dias. Mis queridos amigos, me complace mucho darles la bienvenida a la ordinación dieciséis de nuestros amigos, quienes hoy se convertirán en diáconos permanentes al servicio de la Iglesia de Joliet. Es un mío muy feliz y bendecido para nosotros. Agradecemos la providencia de Dios que en el medio de una pandemia implacable nos ha permitido encontrar un camino seguro para expresar y exper experimentar nuestra fe juntos. La ordinación afirma la relación en amor que el candidato disfruta con Jesús, el conferirles un carácter permanente de Cristo, el siervo, a cada uno de ustedes. So, my good friends, I am very pleased to welcome you to the ordination of our 16 friends who will become permanent deacons in service to the Church of Joliet. It is a very happy and blessed day for us. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. We are grateful to the providence of God who in the midst of raging pandemic has enabled us to find a safe pathway to express and experience our faith together this morning. The ordination today validates the relationship and love which the, each of the candidates enjoy with Jesus in conferring a permanent character of Christ the servant on each. In preparation for our celebration day, let us pause, setting aside our concerns, our preoccupations, and once again turning to that ever forgiving and healing God, let us for a few moments call to mind our sins and seek once again God's forgiveness in our lives.
Let us pray. O God, who have taught the ministers of your church to seek not to be served, but to serve their brothers and sisters, grant, we pray, that these, your servants, whom you graciously choose today for the office of deacon, may be effective in action, gentle in ministry, and constant in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me thus. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. Ah, Lord God, I said. I know not how to speak, I am too young. But the Lord answered me. Say not, I am too young. To whomever I send you, you shall go. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Have no fear before them, because I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord extended his hand and touched my mouth, saying, See, I place my words in your mouth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <coughs>
Lectura del libro de los Hechos de los Apóstoles. En aquellos días, como aumentaba mucho el número de los discípulos, hubo ciertas quejas de los judíos griegos contra los hebreos, de que no se atendía bien a sus viudas en el servicio de caridad de todos los días. Los doce convocaron entonces a la multitud de los discípulos y les dijeron, no es justo que dejando el ministerio de la palabra de Dios, nos dediquemos a administrar los bienes. Escojan entre ustedes a siete hombres de buena reputación, llenos del Espíritu Santo y de sabiduría, a los cuales encargaremos este servicio. Nosotros nos dedicaremos a la oración y al servicio de la palabra. Todos estuvieron de acuerdo y eligieron a Esteban, hombre lleno de fe y del Espíritu Santo, a Felipe, Prócoro, Nicanor, Timón, Parmenas y Nicolás, prosélito de Antioquía. Se los presentaron a los apóstoles y estos, después de haber orado, les impusieron las manos. Mientras tanto, la palabra de Dios iba cundiendo en Jerusalén, se multiplicaba grandemente el número de los discípulos. Palabra de Dios. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you 
and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let those to be ordained deacons come forward. <clears throat> Fernando Rubio. Hung Nguyen. Kevin Plankinton. Andrew Jalove, Fred Dan, Nicholas Safoni, Eric Alvarez. Anthony Holmes, Michael Fitzpatrick, Stephen Boffa, Armando Jaquez, James Bates, Paul Nappy, Michael Murphy. Glenn Vanek, Anthony Liazzo, Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these men, our brothers, to the responsibility of the diaconate. Do you know them to be worthy? After inquiry among the Christian people and upon the recommendation of those responsible, I testify that they have been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, we choose these men for the order of the diaconate.
mis queridos amigos, hoy por su ordenación estos 16 candidatos son confirmados en su relación con Jesús, en la unidad del amor y por la cual ellos toman la identidad de Cristo el siervo. En esta identidad emprenderán al ministerio, al servicio de la misión de la iglesia, el cuerpo de Cristo vivo en el mundo de hoy. El diácono ordenado exceptuará dos funcionarios sacramentales en iglesia, como ministerios del batismo y del matrimonio. En este servicio, no solo pronunciarán las palabras y realizarán las acciones, disfrutando de la identidad de Cristo si siervo, también se acer acercarán a or otros para inducir a Cristo a los participantes, participantes sacramentales con una cálida bienvenida y un alcance personal. En el papel de predicar, que es confiado de diácono, se espera que hablen de, desde de más profundo de sus corazones pasados en una relación íntima con Cristo. En segundo lugar, la familia, familia, familia debe ser adaptada para la vida de las feligraces en la cultura en la sociedad, sociedad contemporánea. La relación del diácono con el Señor se muestra por el compromiso pleno en la Eucaristía. Las acciones y las palabras que dicen en su celebración son secundarios a la relación personal con Jesús. El, el misterio pascual cobra vida. Su muerte y resurrección se hacen presentes como diáconos son uno con Cristo, el siervo, que redime el mundo. My good friends, my 16 diocesan and candidates, spouses and families, I am very honored to share this significant moment with you. It is transformational insofar as the four plus years of dedicated preparation give way now to a sacramentalized relationship with Jesus that confers a new identity on each of you deacons-to-be. The core of this identity is expressed in the gospel. Jesus said to his disciples, as the Father loves me, so also I love you. Remain in my love. The initiative of this coming together relationship was begun by Jesus. But the response on your part creates a new reality, whereby your action thereafter is by a person who enjoys a human nature, but also the blending of the love with Jesus, the Son of God. Gives, this gives birth to an identity that enables one to act in the name of God, in the person of the divine. The particular identity conferred on you through the action of the church is based on your relationship with Jesus, the servant. The beautiful image that captures the meaning of this is Jesus, washing the feet of the apostles. What I have done for you, you must do for one another. You make your own the declaration of Jesus, I come to serve, not to be served. Your identity with Christ the servant leads you to be a part of the mission of Jesus as experienced in the life of the church. You will engage this mission as a minister of two sacraments. In each of these celebrations, a new creation transpire, transpires as one emerges from the waters of baptism as a child of God and in marriage as man and woman who have become one. In the contemporary moment, it is not sufficient only to attend to the words and actions of the rites but as a minister of God's love, you're also to do so in the spirit of Christ the Spirit, consciously reaching out as a minister of God, so very important in our times, in welcome, in establishing 
an acceptance that creates an environment for the participants of a sense of truly belonging to God's people. Whenever possible, the deacon should highlight that human dimension, spending time with the families and couples in the social gatherings associated with the event. In our time, that human connection is so very important, especially for the ministers of the church. These are moments of evangelization when faith is deepened and one comes to know Jesus through the interaction with the minister. A privileged moment for the deacon's ministry is the opportunity to preach, to stir souls to grow in greater unity with their God. The deacon is called to be the mouthpiece for God. In so being, God cooperates as Isaiah attests. Thus the Lord extended his hand and touched my mouth, saying, See, I place my words in your mouth. The members of the congregation do not benefit as much as they could when the deacon relies on the habit of using a formulary in preaching. The listeners yearn for an expression of how particular scripture has stirred the deacon's imagination and heart. How are the messages applicable, they ask, to family life, to the working place, to the immersion in the culture of our times? They want them to be relevant and applicable to really take home a message. The institution of the diaconate, the selection of the first servant deacons by the early church to serve the needs of an evolving mixed community confirms the practical service that is involved in sustaining the community's life. The first seven were sent to serve at tables to make sure that all were treated equally. No doubt you are being called to get your hands dirty, to respond to the practical needs of the community, to witness to the presence of the servant church in such situations. Do not be reluctant to do so. Deacons to be, you are being introduced into your ministry at a very specific time, the era of the service of Pope Francis who is the Vicar of Christ today. We are called to fidelity to the Holy Father and to cooperate within the framework of the particular leadership he exercises today as a successor of Peter. The direction he provides is expressed in various descriptions which have emerged from his ministry. The church is a field hospital. Another the moral responsibility to attend to the preservation of an ecology which prioritizes human dignity and the marvel of sustaining creation. He says, we are called to build bridges, not walls. And we are one human family, all brothers and sisters. God's loving countenance casts the splendor on the love of the faces of all of us. In an election year, the deacon will have a role in assisting our faithful to form their consciences, whereby the gospel teachings take priority in pursuing the common good. We are not to be Republicans who happen to be Catholics or Democrats who happen to be Catholics. We are expected to make room for Christ and introduce his vision into our society and culture. And Jesus declares, this I command you. Love one another. Ordination to the diaconate today changes you. A permanent character of your being will be in alignment with Jesus the servant. This identity is now integral to you in your state in life, with your family, and in all of your activity and relationships. Special identification is attached to your integration into the mission of the church, whose ordained minister you will be. Still, in light of all of this, priority is to be rendered to your family and pursuing its support. The deacon's relationship with the Lord is evidenced by your full engagement in the Eucharist. The actions and the words you will speak in its celebration are secondary to your Eucharistic association with Jesus. The Paschal mystery, his death and resurrection, are made present in the Mass. In its celebration, 
you as deacons are integrally identified with Christ the servant who redeems the world. Dear sons, before you enter the order of the diaconate, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Do you resolve to be consecrated for the church's ministry by the laying on of my hands and the gift of the Holy Spirit? I do. Do you resolve to discharge the office of deacon with humble charity in order to assist the priestly order and to benefit the Christian people? You resolve to hold fast to the mystery of faith with a clear conscience, as the apostle urges, and to proclaim this faith in word and deed, according to the gospel and the church's tradition? I do. Do all of you resolve to maintain and deepen the spirit of prayer that is proper to your way of life, and in keeping with this spirit and what is required of you to, be, to celebrate faithfully with the, the liturgy of the hours, with and for the people of God, and indeed for the whole world? I do. Do you resolve to conform your way of life always to the example of Christ, whose body and blood you are to minister at the altar? I do. With the help of God. And, okay, thank you. Do you promise obedience and respect to me and my successors? May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise obedience and respect to me and my successors? May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Amen. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. 
Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun this work in you, be, bring it to, ful to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun this good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun this good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. My dear people, let us pray to, that God, the all-powerful Father, will mercifully pour out the grace of this blessing on these, his servants, whom in, in, whom in his kindness he raises to the holy order of the diaconate. Push it up toward the chair. There we are. Thank you. Mercy, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Holy Angels of God, Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Andrew, pray for us. Saint John, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint Stephen, pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Antioch, pray for us. Saint Lawrence, pray for us. Saint Vincent, pray for us. Saint Perpetua and Saint Felicity, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Athanasius, pray for us. Saint Basil, pray for us. Saint Ephraim, pray for us. Saint Martin, pray for us. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Francis, pray for us. Saint Dominic, pray for us. Saint Francis Xavier, pray for us. Saint John Vianney, pray for us. Saint Catherine of Siena, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Jesus, pray for us. All holy men and women, saints of God, pray for us. Lord, 
be merciful. Lord, Lord, deliver us, we pray. From all evil. Lord, Lord deliver, deliver us, we pray. From every sin. Lord, Lord deliver us, us, we pray. From everlasting death. Lord, Lord deliver, deliver us, we pray. By your incarnation. Lord, Lord deliver us, us, we pray. By your death and resurrection. Lord, deliver us, we pray. By the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Lord, deliver us, we pray. Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Govern and protect your holy church. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Keep the Pope and all the ordained in faithful service to your church. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Bless these chosen men. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Bless and sanctify these chosen men. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Bless, sanctify, and consecrate these chosen men. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Bring all peoples together in peace and true harmony. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Comfort with your mercy the troubled and the afflicted. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Strengthen all of us and keep us in your holy service. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord God, mercifully hear our prayers and graciously, graciously accompany with your help what we undertake by virtue of our office. Sanctify by your blessing these men we present, for in your judgment we believe them worthy to exercise sacred ministries. Through Christ our Lord.
Draw near, we pray, almighty God, giver of every grace, who apportion every order and assign every office, who remain unchanged, but make all things new. In your eternal providence, you make provision for every age, as you order all creation, through him who is your word, your power, and your wisdom, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. You grant that the church, his body, adorned in manifold heavenly graces, drawn together in the diversity of its members and united by a wondrous bond through the Holy Spirit, should grow and spread forth to build up a new temple and as once you chose the sons of Levi to minister in the former tabernacle, so now you establish three ranks of ministers in their sacred offices to serve in your name. And so in the first days of the church, through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, your sons apostles appointed seven men of good repute to assist them in the daily ministry that they might devote themselves more fully to prayer and preaching of the word. By prayer and the laying on of hands, they entrusted to these chosen men the ministry of serving at table. We beseech you, Lord, Look with favor on these servants of yours who will minister at your holy altar and whom we now humbly dedicate to the office of deacon. Send forth upon them, Lord, we pray, the Holy Spirit, that they may be strengthened by the gift of your sevenfold grace for the faithful carrying out of the work of the ministry. May, the, they, may the, there abound in them every gospel virtue unfeigned love, concern for the sick and the poor, unassuming authority, the purity of innocence, and the observance of spiritual discipline. May your commandments shine forth in their conduct so that by the example of their way of life, they may inspire the imitation of your holy people. In offering the witness of a clear conscience, may they remain strong and steadfast in Christ so that by imitating on earth, your son, who came not to be served, but to serve, they may be found worthy to reign in heaven with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
as they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with blessings. They walk with ever-growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. Blessed Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the evangelio of de Cristo, del cual ha sido constituido mensajero. Esmerate en creer lo que lees, enseñar lo que crees, y vivir lo que enseñanos. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Be receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Recibe el Evangelio de Cristo, del cual ha sido constituido mensajero. Esmerate en creer lo que lees, enseñar lo que crees, y vivir lo que enseñas.
Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Peace be with you. 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 La paz de Cristo. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Thank you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. The paz de Cristo. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. to you in the silence. I will lift you from all your fear. You will hear my voice. I claim you as my choice. Be still and know I am here. I am hope for all who are hopeless. I am eyes for all who long to see. In the shadows of the night, I will be
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice that your hands for the praise and glory of his name, Amen. for our good and for all his holy church. Amen. <clears throat> holy Father, whose Son chose to wash the disciples' feet and so set us an example, accept, we pray, the oblations of our service and grant that offering ourselves as a spiritual sacrifice, we may be filled with the spirit of humility and zeal. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son High Priest of the new and eternal covenant. And by your wondrous design, we're pleased to decree that many ministries be exercised in your church. 
For Christ not only adorns with a royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness he also chooses men to become sharers in his ministry through the laying on of hands. He chooses them to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word, and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for a consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he set the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the 
saving passion of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he, may he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Raymond Nonatus, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis, our Pope, Richard, our Bishop, Daniel, our Bishop Emeritus, with the order of bishops, these your servants who have been ordained today as ministers for the church and all the clergy and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned before you and your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us grant each other the sign of peace. Praise, peace. Eh? Praise, peace. Praise, peace. Thank you. Praise, peace. Thanks, Dan, for all your good work. These men for four years. Appreciate it.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. body and blood of Christ. Amen. Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, would you like a blessing? Bless you, Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, come down in you and remain with you for all of your days. Amen. The body of Christ. Christ. I, the Lord of Body sea of and sky, I have heard my people cry, who would dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. The body of Christ. My who made the, the stars of I will make their darkness bright. Who will bear my light to them? Whom shall I send? Body of Christ. Here I am, Lord. The body of Christ. Bless you, Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down on you, and on you, and remain with both of you for all of your days. By the Lord of snow and rain, the body of Christ, I have borne my people's pain. I have wept for love of them. They turn away.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, to your servants whom you have replenished with heavenly food and drink, that for the sake of your glory and the salvation of believers, they may be found faithful as ministers of the gospel, of the sacraments, and of charity through Christ our Lord. Please be seated just for a moment. I want to express in a very special way uh, appreciation for all of those who've been involved in the wonderful pathway that has led to this beautiful ceremony today as we conferred uh, the diaconate on 16 wonderful individuals. First and foremost, I want to thank Bishop Daniel Conlon. He has uh, been with them for four years and kind of led them and directed them and oversaw the whole program, etc. So we're very grateful, Bishop, for this, for all the other many things that you've done for our community over these nine years. So thank you. Very much. And then those who have helped us with this marvelous ceremony, Sister Sharon Stola, Father Ryan Adorjan, Deacon Len Piccala, and all the MCs that have helped you, Len and kept us on the right track. So we're very grateful to them and the acolytes and all the others who have been so very generous and efficient in your good service. I want to thank the musicians uh, for your extraordinarily good work in lifting our prayer. Thank you. It is extraordinarily important for us to have that music accompanying us in prayer. Thank also the videographers who are with us today who have live streamed this mass. You uh, have a particular gift and talent. And we welcome all of those who have joined us Video, by video and live streaming, that this has been one of the benefits that we have experienced with coronavirus. Technology has enabled us to be in contact where otherwise we might not be able to be. So we have one blessing, one light that came through coronavirus. And special gratitude is owed in a very special way to the wives of our 16 deacons that you, for the most part, went the full distance with them and I think have re rendered them enormous support. They, you tell me also that you benefited, huh? that what you've learned and uh, acquired over these four years has been very beneficial for you, and so we're grateful for that. <laughs> and as time goes on, who knows, you'll be partners in ministry, and help your husbands and work together as a team. Huh? So we're very, again, can't express enough our appreciation for you and for all that you have done. Also want to support the young people, their families that are here today, huh? the uh, members of the family who have also supported their fathers <clears throat> along the way. And so they have done also a, a very good uh, service to all of us. And we want to, especially appreciation is extended to the diaconate formation leadership, the new deacon John Friend, for now 10 years huh, that you've served in this capacity, for deacon Dominic Serrato. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> deacon Serrato is bringing particular fame to our diocese as he's been appointed by Pope Francis to serve on the committee and the studying of the diaconate, women in the diaconate going forward. So, you know, we'll listen carefully <laughs> to all that you do. But it's a very important responsibility, and we feel honored, very proud, that the Holy Father has chosen you. And then Father Mark Cody, who served uh, for a number of years as the priest, as the priest liaison with the diaconate, and Bobby Honiot, yes, who uh, we thank very, very much for all of her good work for all these many years. She's kind of held everything together. So thank you, Bobby, and uh, very much... The ordination class, as you probably read in your pro programs, was to be 17 deacons. One individual, Frank Siscato, was afflicted by coronavirus. Our prayers are with you. He is completing now his quarantine. And, uh, but he did not have any contact. Uh, we are very fortunate that during this time he had no contact with any of the deacons-to-be or any other than the deacon community. So we've been very blessed during this time. And of course, our uh, prayer support 
encouragement go on to, out to Frank. I presume he's watching us on the video there on the live streaming. But uh, so he will be ordained hopefully in the next two weeks uh, in a ceremony that will enable his family and others, the other deacons, to come forward and to be a part of it. He doesn't want to hold up the show too long, you know. He's uh, went all this year very anxious, very eager to be justifiably to be ordained. So you may uh, put it in a little prayer for Frank uh, at this time and for all the others huh, who are suffering from coronavirus. It is a extraordinarily serious pandemic among all of us. And for, as a bishop, I very much appreciate your following all the protocols that are involved for us to keep it from spreading. It's absolutely essential. We're going to return to work, to the economy, and everything else once we are able to overcome this and its spread. So thank you and your churches, your prayers, and in particular, as we open our schools in the next week or so, kind of a challenge with all those little kids, you know, the mask and all that. But uh, so really pray and encourage them. We can do it. We've done it very uh, successfully with our churches since June 6th. We can do it with our schools. We just have to be intelligent, huh? wear masks, stay six feet apart, and also use uh, sanitizing lotion. So we're very grateful, very, very grateful to all of you for doing that and for God giving us the blessing to, have, to be enabled to have all this wonderful ceremony and gathering in the midst of this pandemic. Hopefully we don't spread it to anybody today and uh, sign God. So very, very much appreciate all of that. So muchas gracias a todos and we wish you God's blessings on this very beautiful day. And as I told the deacons, we look forward now to their going to work. Huh? Enough of this study. Get to go on the ministry and be of great service to our people throughout the diocese. Please stand. I invite you to bow your heads and to pray for God's blessings. May God, who has called you to the service of others in his church, give you great zeal for all especially the afflicted and the poor. May he who has entrusted you with preaching the gospel of Christ help you as you live according to his word to be its sincere and fervent witnesses. May he who has appointed you stewards of his mysteries make you imitators of his son, Jesus Christ, and ministers of unity and peace in the world. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.